but Manuel Ledesma, 19 years old, 69 rated, but on top of that, he has the potential to be special, so we had made an amazing deal. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Chani Sports, and I'm so looking forward to get this episode done. 14th place Crystal Palace has to play against some big teams in this episode and Manuel Ledesma is the guy that joined our team in the last episode 19 year old goalkeeper 69 rated has the potential to be special so looking forward for this guy to grow but I would really appreciate it if we could reach 800 likes guys it will really mean a lot to me Yusuf Pausin four games played three goals scored sadly two of those were in the capital one cup so hopefully he can now move up the ranks in the top scoring list i will definitely try and focus on yusuf Paulsen because i really want this guy to grow because ings just doesn't seem to grow but this match against norwich city started off with a penalty caused by Engels. His tackle wasn't good enough and that is a penalty for Norwich City. This could be the worst start to the game that we could have imagined. But it is of course Speroni, the legend in goal, gets to it and it is still nil-nil. 26 yards, Ali Adnan, the Iraqi Roberto Carlos. But I have realized that this guy is only able to take free kicks from a long range right here. Nathan Redmond cuts inside, this time on his weaker foot. But still a very dangerous shot from our right midfielder. Danny Inks with a pass over to Paulsen. He's through. He does have the pace. 1-0 already. No. Paulsen misses the big opportunity. 1-1 on -one against the goalkeeper. Redmond now on the right hand side with the cross to Yusuf Paulsen. But we are just not able to score in the first half. So we are moving over to the second. Inks with a nice pass to Paulsen. Paulsen with the Ronaldo chop. He does have the space and he does have the shot power. 1-0. Yusuf Paulsen finally scores a goal after so many chances in this game. And he is not stopping. Paulsen with the skills. He does get past one. Passes it over. Gets it back once again. Could this be his second goal? No. Very badly taken shot from him. And we had to make some substitutions. Vargas, Masuaku and Williams joining into the game. And let's see if these guys can can make something happen in this match. Norwich City on the attack right here. They somehow get through the defense and it is a mistake that gives them the chance of taking the shot. In the 76th minute they had a free kick as well. A very nicely taken one from a long distance but still it wasn't a threat to our goal. 90th minute a cross coming over to Vargas who tries to lob and that was my fault. Hello I'm raising my hand. I accidentally pressed the button but that is the a game and that's game over 1-0 we have won through pals in his goal and he is now on four goals i believe and i think he has scored two of them in the bpl or maybe three but as you can see boys we are moving up to ninth place with seven points if we win our next game we could move up into the top five but our next game was the first match in the group stages of the EuroLeague and our opponents are Nantes, Twente and Göteborg. So we will start with the first game against Twente and this is a really good team but I had to rotate. We are playing our reserves mixed with some players who are playing in the first 11 but you can see that Ozan Tufan basically is the only guy that is playing in the first 11 but then we have Emre Can making his debut for the team hopefully he'll be able to get something done in this match he's playing in the center midfield position but the first chance belongs to Twente and I think that was Ebesilio a guy that I wanted to buy Emre Can gets the ball right here and what a pass that is to Dwight Gale he's through could he get the goal no that could have been an insane assist for Emre Can, but now we are on the corner kick. It will land on Dan his head, the centre-back who is not really playing that much in this season because now we do have two young centre-backs like Moore and Engels, but we will concede a goal. 45th minute, right before half-time, Castagno or Castagnos, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I think the first pronunciation was the right one, but he's getting the goal for Twente, and we are strong. Struggling man in the Europa League first match. This is the first time experience for our team and they are not really doing too well We had our chances in the first half not really able to get something done right here hunt the right back 
tried one on his own, 75th minute, that was the closest I got to the goal in the second half. I had to make some substitutions, Hoiberg, Inks and Paulsen are joining into the game, so I wanted to show them, yes, now it's time to go ahead and get a goal. It is a cross to Danny Inks, which is the first chance that we got right after the substitution. But let me tell you this, guys. This game ended 1-0 for Twente. We lost at home, and that is something that our board doesn't like to see. They are so pissed. Anytime I lose at home, I get this message about the last match. You basically sucked. We are still supporting you, but you suck. Just letting you know. It looks like I really need to improve the team. I don't know what to do, but this next game against Liverpool will be a big one. Nantes also have won their game, so they are sitting in first place right now with three goals scored. The next game in the EuroLeague is a must-win game. But now, let's take a look at this match. We are playing at home once again, but this time it is a much bigger opponent. It is Liverpool. We have to play against them, and of course, I would play the best starting 11 right here. Emre Can on the bench, Bolasi, Dwight Gale. Those are the players that I'm looking to get into the team later on. But take a look at the starting 11 of Liverpool. Jones, Maquillo, Coates, Ilori, Torre, Moreno, Leiva, Henderson, Markovic, Aspas, Origi. I mean, there are a lot of players missing right there who are actually first 11 players. They were underestimating me. Crystal Palace with the first goal. And finally, Nathan Redmond scores a goal. This guy, I feel like he hasn't scored any goals in the last season. But finally, in this one, he started off with a goal against Liverpool. And that is a really important goal because we conceded right after that. It is now 1-1. Liverpool equalizes right after we scored our goal. And 38th minute, it was a cross coming in to the center back. Engels, the transfer, the new player in our team, the big guy, the only guy I can actually cross it to except Palzin. This is the guy I'm looking for in the penalty area on corner kicks. But I also think that that was a mistake from the Liverpool goalkeeper Jones. It is now Origi on the right hand side right before half time. It is Liverpool with another chance. And I do get it away with Ali Adnan in the end. And Emre Can is making his second appearance against his old team Liverpool. Emre Can now on the ball with his first chance to get forward. And he gets fouled right away. Liverpool just letting him know mate you have left us. And you will see what happens for you because of that. Emre John getting fouled, Iago Aspas gets the yellow card, now it's Zaha on the ball, passing it over to the right hand side, it is Redmond now to Emre Can and what a strike it is from the guy playing against his former club and what a way to pay back that foul and what a way to show Liverpool that they shouldn't have sold him. I know that a lot of guys said hey you shouldn't have bought him because he's the future of Liverpool or something like that. That's the point of career mode, buying players that have potential. It's not my fault that Liverpool are selling them, but it is a big chance for Liverpool in the 90th minute. Origi hitting the post, and yeah, basically it was only Liverpool after those goals I scored, but we are going through with the three points. That was an important win, an insanely important win, because if we drop down to like 10th place or 11th, that would have been really bad but now we are moving up to sixth place with 10 points only one point to the first place team Chelsea the schedule was horrible we played three games in one week hopefully it will be better in the next upcoming weeks and this is the schedule right here and I do really think that our form is going up and Crystal Palace is moving up the ranks same with Nathan Redmond this guy has four assists uh, and Danny Ings also on two assists so it is going up and the form is looking really good guys thank you so much for watching smash that like button for me take care and peace